Hi, welcome back to Motor Performance. I'm Mike, behind the camera is Jay. We're in the detailing bay. Gonna be a bit of a quick start to the intro of this vlog, but stay with it, it's a really good vlog towards the end. Busy in here, um, carbon fiber being prepped for a G80 M3, tailpipes, two sets being done, Tesla wheels, 240i wheels, uh, M135 IF40 wheels, and Uncle Tony's wheels. These have been prepped ready before the car comes in for detailing, because his car, just over there, has arrived. Oxide gray M135i individual red leather, it's going to be a bit of a hybrid car. Um, AC Snitzer exhaust, AC Snitzer springs, Motec wheels, Motec decor pack, BMW M performance front sides and rear wings. So a bit of everything, which is really good for us because it can showcase we don't just do Maxton, we can obviously offer the M performance, we don't just offer Remus, we can offer AC Snitzer. So nice to see a variety of different products on that car. Um, 840D just leaving us for Centurion. This has been lowered on IBAX. Maxton kit still to go on and it's obviously got 21 inch Judd wheels. In the corner, we've got our 320 SI, I had to think about that. JM, the YouTuber, is maybe coming across and doing a video sort of vlog on that one, that should be good. And the M4 still in the unit, waiting for the remiss, that should be imminent. So on the end of this vlog, we'll see Tony's car, and we'll come back and do a quick recap of that. So as you can see, this car looks unreal. Uh, we're all big fans of it. One, the color. I mean, oxide gray, an individual color, first on the M5, and now also on the G80 M3s and 4s. And now on an M135i. Well done, Tony. Red interior, <laughs> only Tony could do that, and it's worked, so fair play to him. Modifications in this car, we'll do a bit of a walkthrough front to back. Uh, M Performance Aero Flicks, love or hate them. Um, on this setup, with the M Performance body kit and these wheels, works really, really well, actually. So maybe we should fit something to our car. Um, gloss black grill and canards, as you know, bumper off on these. Bit awkward, but they really do transform the car. M Performance genuine front and sides and top spoiler at the back, but then of course you paint the end canards to match the body colour. That's just something we do on the Motec Edition cars. We can do it while the cars are here for a week or so. Um, we wouldn't really be off it to anybody else, but on a Motec Edition car, no problems at all. Um, wheels, transform the wheels. Took the original 19s off with the Bridgestones. Don't need to run a space because we're running our MW1 wheel. Eight and a half J wide, so slightly wider than the original ones. Michelin Pilot 4S tyres, perfect. New TPMS units, just got to recode it on the dash, perfect. If you're going from an 18 to a 19, same again. Put the wheels on, recode it on, jobs are good, no problems there. And we even put black TPMS units on just to keep it real factory plus. Gloss black M decals in the wing, I love them. They just look so good, they just look like a nice badge, uh, really popular, selling lots of them. You haven't got to have a Motec Edition car, they're on the website to buy them as well. Things we did slightly different on this one, which is actually working out really well for us. We do a lot of Ibex springs, which is great. We do a lot of Remus exhaust, which is great. But this car is the AC Snitzer exhaust and the AC Snitzer springs. And as you can see, it's slightly higher than the Ibex. So you get factory, AC Snitzer, and then Ibex in drop. So it's really good for us to offer alternative products that if you live on a bumpy road or a place that's got a nasty speed ramp or you use the car as a daily need to be really really compliant then that spring kit's very good for that one if you didn't want to go the Ibex. Same again with the exhaust. The AC Snitzer exhaust fits really well with a standard diffuser as does the Remus. The Remus race will always be louder than this one but it just gives you something a bit more factory plus than the original one. No diffuser on this car because the original tap-ups just sit in perfectly. I would have personally tried to convince Tony to put the M Performance diffuser onto it but with this car just being gloss black and the oxide great, it works really, really well. He hasn't yet seen the car. Martin's had it for the last two days to detail it. G-Technique, Crystal Serum Light. 
just perfect. We are loss of words. Um, we're now getting close to nearly 10K as well, which is really exciting for us. We are going to do some kind of giveaway. So let us know down below what you'd kind of want. Nobody say cars or free stuff. It'll be hoodies and t-shirts and that sort of stuff, maybe. Um, and also let us know what you think of the, Tony's new demo car. Thanks a lot.